What's up guys, this is RG giving you another high definition broadcast. As you can see, we're here back on Unison League and we are representing the Philippines right now. As you can see, the Pacquiao shirt banging. And that's because I want to give a special shout out to Maxine. She's all the way in the Philippines and I wanted to thank her for our, her support and I hope you enjoy this video, Maxine. So, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the reason that uh, I'm, I'm shouting her out on this video specifically is because Maxine's a mage and uh, this is actually going to be a all mage uh, lab run and this is a this is like the ultimate lab so it's like the one that you have to have the key for so if you don't have the key already you definitely want to go ahead and get the key from the regular lab and then go into the lab and uh, if you're you know uh, a mage that wants to do this uh, you can do it exactly the way this is and for all the other people uh, who are not mages I'll be making a video for that too however this is a mage run uh, so uh, on the top right of your screen before I start the video it's gonna show um, a couple of the things that you need to have on this run it's like a must-have and um, the reason you must have them is because the Nemean, for one, is one of those monsters that you really, really need because it's going to give you that buff and the magic, um, just enough, enough magic damage and magic, enough magic defense, uh, as well as the ability power. So, as you can see um, on on the right, or the left side of, or the right side of your screen, the left side of my screen, is. Um, it's actually going to give you the 20% increase in magic ability power. Uh, oh, sorry. It's magic attack and magic defense by 20% and increases the magic ability power by 15 for 60 seconds. And this does stack the ability power, that is. Oh, well, I guess the buff stacks also uh, until it gets to 80%. So um, it also is boosted by a level bonus, and that's plus four levels, right? Because it starts at one and then it goes plus four, it gets that's level five. Meaning that it's going to give you 40% of that magic attack and magic defense and the ability power 15. So now if you stack that up on top of each other, uh, it's going to go, you know, like 15, 30, 45, 60, etc. Until you um, have a really high amount of ability power increase, right? Now that's the reason the main is so good. People are like, oh, why are you using SR? That's why. Because it's very, very good for mages. Uh, high damage, um, as mages only use magic attack damage. They don't use regular attack damage. Um, Another thing you see on uh, the left, top left, or uh, the top right there, oh my god, is um, the ability power uh, golem. So the reason that you have that is um, it actually gives you, it gives a magic defense debuff. Now in this video, we're actually not using golems, we're using other haste monsters. So you can actually substitute that for, you know, any other haste monster. As you can see on the right, top right of your screen, got it right this time, is um, any haste monster is actually uh, applicable in this situation. Um, but if it was me and we redid the run, it would be the golem because he actually does a magic debuff, uh, defense debuff, which is like, why wouldn't you want that, right? So that's why that's there. Um, the next actually is used for the last boss, which you actually will see. And the, the reason that uh, she's being used is because the negative attack um, debuff on her, as well as the negative magic defense debuff, which is uh, the highest you can get. So that's the reason that she's being used. Uh, that's pretty much the only reason she's there, is because the, the debuff of the attack damage, which you need to survive, and the magic defense uh, debuff, which is actually going to boost your damage. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. Uh, I did not cast this live as it was almost impossible to do uh, correctly if I was going to do it live. Like this way, I can give you like you know like pictures on the right side, and um, it will also also um, be able to give you uh, an idea of what I'm doing every single step of the way. Now, in the very beginning, you want to kind of conserve your cost as well as being effective with your damage. The, the way that you do that is actually, um, uh, well, very in the very beginning first wave, you just bust out all your uh, photons. Um, I could have honestly used a meter there, but sometimes people use meter there and you don't want to stack meters on, on the same target. Um, in the second one, uh, there's there's more uh, mobs to, to look through, so I, I'm targeting the bottom wolf mob, and I use my, um, my skill there, uh, Photon Crush, to kill it in one hit. The reason I'm doing that is because I don't want you don't want to stack skills on one target and waste the damage output that you possibly could do on a different target. So it's almost a waste of damage if, if somebody hits him down to 90% and then 
another person will photon it. Uh, again, every single time your meteor is up, you want to use it because 18 of your cost is better than using 12 plus 11, which is 23. Um, and it will do actually more damage than both your photons combined. So the reason you're using uh, I'm not you're not using meteor sometimes is because you're scared of using the meteor when somebody had just used the meteor. Okay. Now the first actual um, unison that we're doing is going to be four times the mains. So uh, mine is the really weak one on the right side, uh, but the skill actually does the same thing, so it's not a big deal. Um, however, uh, I had to use a bunch of SR uh, Limimins to get it, get the skill up, which is I was like kind of sore about because it was already at highest level, so the level actually didn't work. But that's a separate story. So we're using four Nemains and not haste right now because we're doing high damage to these uh, characters. Plus, if you use haste, uh, it's actually five seconds uh, longer than um, doing the Nemeans, just the four Nemeans. So they were saying like, don't use haste, but you know, you could try it if you want to. Uh, we use it like this way. Just the first one is four Nemeans. Every single unison after this will be three haste and two Nemeans, except for the last boss. So just keep an eye out for that. Uh, as you can see, Luke didn't use his because it's just a little bit less time that you can have on the on the uh, the run. Uh, and the reason he's not using his because you need every single second, as you can only get the the boss uh, drop mob when you have under 10 minutes. So there you go. Um, we are actually rotating on meteors here. Like if somebody uses a meteor the next round, the other person uses it. We try not to stack meteors. Very, very important not to stack meteors. I do one photon crush on the top target, then I go down to the bottom target and start attacking because I can see everybody's going for the top target. You don't want to waste any DPS uh, at all. We all have our um, unisons at this point, so we are going to be doing a three haste, two Nemean, um, uh support and main unison. And here's, here it goes. Again, um, you can see the haste monsters there. It's a wolf, a little goblin, and the actual uh, mob that drops uh, from this is, and that that's the last last boss. It's like his name is like Heck something. Everybody just calls him Heck. So, um, but I'll put it in the description what his actual name is or or in the uh, annotations. But uh, again, the golem would be a lot better for this run if you can uh, actually get. Um, if you can actually get the golem, it's it's way better for this run because the the magic defense is going to be then lowered on all the monsters, uh, and that would be three of them, so it would be to 60%, uh, which would be incredibly incredibly useful on something like this. Um, it might even save you like 30 to 45 seconds. Um, also, as you can see, the meteor is being evenly distributed. Very 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 important, guys. Uh, I can't stress enough how much this actually helps you in the end. Uh, it'll probably cut a good 30 seconds to 45 seconds of your time if you um, distribute it the the meteors correctly. Okay. So I have my uh, unison up right now, but I, you definitely don't want to use your unison unless everybody has it. Again, we are doing the three haste to Nemean unisons. Um, so right now. Honestly, right there, as you can see, like people are attacking with their their regular attacks. I honestly don't wouldn't do that because it's five cost for pretty much no damage. Uh, you might as well just put put one of your um, your photons up if you're gonna do that. So uh, you know, honestly, if if you know five people are using their their um, attack skill, like you you might not have enough cost for your your cure later. So. Um, and again, uh, the skills that we're that we're using right now are exactly how you see on my bar. And then one person, instead of one of the photons, will use a hunter skill, uh, which is takes off debuffs, and that's going to be Windmaster on the top there. Uh, I'll put a skill um, annotation down here on the bottom here, and I'll put it in the description for those who are using mobiles. Because I had a comment earlier that says your annotations aren't working, but it's most of the time it's a person on mobile phone that is doing that uh, on a on an Apple phone. On Android phones it actually shows it, but Apple phones it doesn't. So uh, I'll put it down here and then in the description what my skill sets are and the skill sets of my, my um, teammates. But yeah, look, um, we are pretty much doing a really good job of using our uh, meteors correctly 
and uh, spreading out the DPS. Uh, right here is a very important part uh, in in the uh, run. This guy, this uh, harass Velger, uh, or, or whatever you call him, we call him, we call him Bird in uh, any lab runs. We just call him Bird because he's a bird. So basically, what you want to do is take him to 50%, um, and then you use your unison. You want to be careful because he actually uses like right there. They use it in unison almost perfectly because you don't want to let him uh, get his heal off before you can do your high damage to him and you don't want to let him paralyze you before you do that, uh, the unison so he does do a paralyzing attack um, and I got caught with it like on a, a run or two back before this so very very important to get your unison off right before uh, he uses that around 50% so the reason that uh, we're all we're all saved our, our meteor, so all of us are using meteor there. All of us using our photon strike, getting as much high percentage damage, high damage as you can. Uh, that that typhoon right there sometimes paralyzes you, so you got to be careful for that. Uh, we didn't get paralyzed this time, so that's good. Lionel needs to heal himself, uh, and pretty much all your heals are being used on yourself. So that's one thing uh, you need to to realize. This. Golem right here, very important to actually not meteor him until he's broken. Right there, he's broken, and then people are going to start meteoring him in about 2-3 seconds. So right here, the meteors are going to start raining down. As you can see, my meteor is raining down, everyone's meteor is raining down. Because he's actually broken, uh, you know, anytime you see that break, you want to pop your meteor. If you don't see break on that golem, you're going to do one damage uh, with your meteors, okay? So that's the reason we're waiting for break uh, to do any meteors. Uh, however, we actually uh, use our unison here, so um, we can probably just kill him with our, our uh, burst damage uh, single targets after this is completed. As you can see, that, that, uh, that um, unison only did one damage to him. That's because he's, he has like almost like how super augments like the SSRs. You don't really want to use um, any AoE attacks on those guys in the end. It's like single target is the best because it just... Uh, doesn't do enough, enough damage or something about like having uh, multiple attacks uh, or um, AOE attacks that don't do damage to him so careful for that okay all right so the wolf is actually one of the most annoyingest uh, ones because he can take your deep take your buffs off he can debuff you uh, which is very very annoying but actually this run it, we got lucky and a lot of the runs uh, it's actually a lot about luck so if your stuff procs like all the time you're gonna have a easier time and if this wolf guy doesn't debuff you all the time you're gonna have a good time and if the, uh, the, the like there that's the debuff right there so so we took off a debuff right there um, and then uh, we also have a debuff that actually we take debuff uh, buffs off the character so Windmaster will have the the one that takes debuffs off the other guy and I think Luke is the one who took the uh, one that purifies our debuffs uh, off. So um, I'll put those skills up again in the annotations or the description. So I, I was just saying earlier, you you have to really think about the luck factor in something like this because it is a little bit of an RNG where if you get crits or if you get your procs or if the monsters decide to debuff you at a certain time or not. All right, so this boss right here is the last boss. He actually can one-shot you instantly. So what you want to do is you pop your Nyx, and then you pop two of your Banshees, uh, or your Nemeans, sorry. Banshee is the one that I have, Nemean is the one that he upgrades to, and that is SR. So that uh, is basically giving his attack down, and giving the me magic defense down. Now the first thing you want to do right out of the gate, Meteor right after this, okay? You have to Meteor right after this, and then uh, you're praying that he doesn't debuff you before your Meteor actually comes down on his head so perfect we get all our meteors off he doesn't debuff us I cure myself because he can one shot you if I uh, didn't uh, proc my uh, XL down uh, d uh, damage he would have killed me there he missed me with a couple of meteors there uh, I'm, I'm gonna heal myself right when I get the cost for it because he, he has a tendency to crit you and kill you uh, there goes another um, debuff of the attack on him and then the domain is coming back up for our uh, buffs. So as you can see, he buffs himself, and then the the actual um, Nyx is putting back his attack back down. So it, it went back to two, and he started at plus four. Okay, so just think about that. Um,
putting our we're gonna put our meteor back up because we have our buffs right back up and uh, he is broken right now he puts his hands of fury up and he did um, a high damage to us I put my cure up and we're just trying to get him down as fast as possible we're looking at our unison gauge at this point because right when our new unison is up we want to use our unison to save our other teammates and to stop the uh, clock as well as regaining uh, HP boom he got crit windmaster got crit and died um, I used my unison right there because I could have got crit and died and I stopped the attack of the boss right there so Luke almost would have died right there so that's something that you have to watch out you're gonna spam your unison uh, because it's gonna do those things stop the boss from attacking give you guys buffs and be able to do um, a good amount of damage to the boss stop the clock and re reserve your cost Right now, we're gonna uh, pop the meat, all pops meteor. Luke uh, decides to recover himself. Smart. I use cure, and then also uh, the recover goes on um, Edgarin. Sorry, I'm not good at names. But yeah, so this is pretty much uh, elation right now. Everybody's super happy, giving the thumbs up, super harding it up, and. Um, that was the run guys I hope this was pretty informative for people that are uh, trying to do this type of run so that's the new record as you can see I'm very happy about it and I got it for the video I was super super happy about it take a little picture on my phone uh, of a snapshot um, and I did you know unlock it so I was super duper happy and um, you know thank you to everybody that came on the run um, yeah pretty much that's how the run went down um, I have I think a little bit more footage of like me uh, talking to the people so I'm just saying thanks to everybody and I told him that I'm gonna put it on YouTube and uh, and then uh, they're saying like oh people think I'm land or that like so thank you Luke uh, thank you everybody, uh, Lionel and Windmaster, as well as uh, Edgarine, for coming along and helping me along. I did not know uh, really what I was doing in the beginning, and it took me about, it took us about 20 minutes to, maybe more like 30 minutes to 45 minutes to complete this. So I, at the beginning of the 45 minutes, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, but they kind of coached me a little bit and told me what to do uh, and as you can see now I'm teaching you what they taught me so I any kind of knowledge that I get from people that are good at the game um, you know I I'm gonna give to you and I, I uh, hope that you guys appreciate that because I appreciate you guys so I think that's it for this one guys definitely uh, look me up I'm gonna do some more uh, videos probably the bishop next and we'll be doing uh, some GVG stuff uh, just keep an eye out and stay tuned if it if you did like the video give me a thumbs up check out my channel subscribe and check and uh, all that good stuff and comment uh, if you can um, I think that's about it thank you thank you guys all for watching and take it easy Peace.